Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGaga.com and in this video we want to look at how to create a conditional average. So our goal is to find the average for the various subjects within this list. So the average is conditional. I want to find the average if it's the French subject and if it's IT and so on. And we're going to put this information in this little kind of summary table we have on the right, starting with G3 and the French uh, scores, French exam scores. Let me zoom this spreadsheet in so we can see the formulas are right a bit easier and get started. And we are going to use a function called average if. So average if it is that subject. And we have three arguments or three questions to tackle. Question one is the range that we're testing. In this case, what subject? And for us, that will be B3 to B52. Using my control shift and down keys there to quickly select that. Now, when we are finished with this formula, I'm going to copy it to the maths, IT and history subjects as well. So I'm going to want to fix that range so that it doesn't change when I copy this formula. I did that by pressing the F4 key, the function key F4 there, and dollar signs can alternatively just be typed in though. Or you could just change it for the others and not worry about the dollar signs. <laughs> but I'm doing that so that the range does not move when I move the formula. Or copy the formula. A comma after that, so it asks for the criteria we are looking for within that range. And that is F3. I'm going to refer to the cell that contains the name of the subject that we're looking for. And I won't use dollar signs there because when I copy the formula down, I want the reference to F3 to move down with me. I just don't want that range to move. Comma. Now I want to know where the numbers are. So you've asked it, or you've told it what you're going to test. Now I want to know where are the numbers to calculate the average from. And this question's optional, because it might be the same range. For us it's not though. The range is C3 to C52. And I'll need the dollar signs again to make that absolute. And the F4 key will do that for me. Close and bracket on the end. So whenever you see F3 in column B, calculate the average from C. If I press enter, I'll get the average for French scores. And if I click on that cell and copy it to the others, I should receive the average for the other subjects as well. So you can see that history has the highest average, sorry, followed by maths in this range of scores. And if I look at any of these other formulas, we can see it's doing the right job. B3 to B52, C3 to C52, F5, which is the IT subject. And that is using a function called average if to calculate a conditional average. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos or other tutorials at computergargard.com or on our YouTube channel.